Today on Cooking with Lauren K, we have some delicious fruit salsa with some cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips. Great for sharing with your family at home or packing to go to work or on maybe a picnic outside in your backyard. Enjoy. Hey everyone, Lauren Kablawik here with Cooking with Lauren K at home. We're gonna be making one of my favorite recipes, which is found in my Lauren K cookbook on page 32. It is the fruit salsa with cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips. Uh, this one goes out to many of my students at Pancambria, Go Panthers, who have made this recipe in one of our labs. We do an appetizer lab where they execute their chopping skills and fruit salsa is a great choice because they get to practice their prep and cutting of different fruits for the fruit salsa if they choose that. So I'm gonna show you how to make it from start to finish today. If you're unsure about how to chop up some of these fruits, um, you can watch the fruit preparation video that I have posted on my channel um, or on your team site if you're a Pencambria student. That'll give you some guidance on how to get to the point in which I'm reaching some of the fruits in this recipe. So we are gonna start out by preheating our oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna be using our oven to bake our tortilla chips that are gonna be seasoned with cinnamon and sugar. You need six flour tortillas. I usually like to use the whole wheat tortillas. That's what the recipe says. However, there's limited supplies of whole wheat products at the grocery store these days with the COVID-19 crisis. So I did find the flour tortillas and I'm gonna go ahead and use those. Those will bake up just fine. So you need six tortillas. I'm gonna start with three here. On a cutting board, you're gonna take a chef's knife and I'm gonna cut these into quarters, almost like you would a pie. So we wanna get even sized chips. I like to get about like eight chips worth out of each tortilla. I'm gonna cut those into triangles. You can make them smaller or larger. Um, if you wanna get more chips out of each tortilla, you can do that. So this one, I actually need five cuts, that is fine. So we're going to lay these out on our sheet pan, um, just like you see here. And I like to go kind of like in a crisscross fashion. This recipe is really special to me because I actually got to do a webisode version of this recipe when I was on the Rachel Ray show. So I got to go into the Rachel Ray kitchen studio and shoot my own version of this fruit salsa. Uh, which was a really cool experience, and they did all kinds of their own video editing on that. Some of you may have seen that posted. I think it still is available, but I wanted to show you how to make this in my own kitchen um, and some different tips and tricks that might be helpful for this time um, that could be challenging for some of you at home. So um, you'll do the same thing to these three tortillas on your other sheet pan that I have here, but to save some time, I will just show you what to do with this particular pan here. So on one side, you're going to take a little bit of your cooking spray. You don't need a lot. The purpose of the cooking spray is to get your cinnamon and sugar mixture. I have a tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon mixed into this small bowl here. And we're going to season. Once you mix it all, you can just kind of sprinkle it on. Um, doesn't need to be precise on any side. Um, so we're gonna season this side up and that's gonna give some nice sweet flavor to the fruit salsa that we're gonna make here in a couple minutes. Uh, with the fruit salsa, if you are going more of a low carb or gluten-free, um, you don't have to do the tortillas. You may be able to find some gluten-free tortillas out there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip these over and we're gonna repeat the same procedure to the other side of our tortilla chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna spray and I'm going to coat with cinnamon and sugar the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing to these other three tortillas. I'm gonna bake them in the oven for about six to eight minutes, uh, flipping once halfway through so that the other side can get you know equal amounts of heat circulation so it crisps up. So when you use it with your fruit salsa, it gives it a nice crunch. So I'm gonna take care of that and then we'll start washing and chopping up our fruit. So our cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips are baking in the oven. And while that's happening, I'm gonna start cutting up my fruit. So if you remember from the fruit video, if you happen to check that out, um, I showed you how to cut up a pineapple and get to this point where uh, you have a quarter of a peeled pineapple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the core out of that corner and we're gonna cut this into planks so that we can get small pieces of our pineapple. 
Um, if you are unsure about how to get to this point with the pineapple, you can check out my fruit preparation video and that'll show you how to um, get to this point with the pineapple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some little strips with my pineapple. We want the pieces of our fruit salsa to be about the size of the smallest, which is going to be the blueberry. So I want about similar size pieces to that. And we also want it to be small enough that we can scoop it up with the cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips. So I'm going to give a small chop. They're probably about like quarter inch size squares. And I like to make efficient usage of my time when I'm cutting things up. So as you can see, the fact that I cut those into strips and I cut all those strips up at the same time allowed me to have a lot of cut up pineapple in a short period of time. So I'm gonna do the other couple planks here. And I like to have a nice big bowl that I could put all of my pieces of cut up fruit into ready and waiting. The nice thing about this fruit salsa is that if you, you can really adapt this to the flavors of the people that are gonna consume it, whether it's you or your family, you can use um, different you know, berries in this salsa. You could do um, honeydew or cantaloupe. You could do peaches, mangoes, apples, whatever you want. Um, I personally um, like the pineapple, strawberry, apple, peach, blueberry, kiwi mix. My son Gavin is not a lover of mango, so I'll make him his own little amount without the mango. So let's move on and I'm gonna show you how to take some of these other ones and prep those into a small fashion as well. Cut off the stems and chop your strawberries about the same size as your pineapple, and then peel, slice, and cube mangoes to a similar size as well. Add your kiwi and apples. I'm also adding some peaches to mine today. The original recipe says apples or peaches. I'm actually adding both. All right, so I'm joined with my fearless sidekick, Gavin, in his tractor shirt. You ready to help me out with the end of this recipe? Yeah. Give it a try. And we have one combined often. He's got some of his own tools. I'm not really sure what he's gonna do with those, but we'll we'll see, huh? And tell Got his He's got his combine harvester here. He loves tractors and construction of all kinds. So hopefully he'll like the construction of this fruit salsa here. You ready to help me finish it? Okay, so we are going to finish this. Gavin, can you pour my blueberries very carefully into that bowl there? I'm trying. Is it heavy? Can you dump it right there? I'll take it. <laughs> no, you'll crush them all. You'll crush them all. We'll dump that right there. And then we're gonna make a dressing with lime juice. Do you ever have lime juice, Gavin? If you don't have a fresh lime, you can use the squeezy lime. Um, you just have to puncture the top with a knife. Be careful when you do that. We're gonna squeeze in the juice of one lime. Just cut it in half and go ahead and give that a squeeze. I would say that if you're using the squeezy lime juice, it's gonna be roughly about three tablespoons of lime juice. You do? Well, I'm using this slime for this one. Is that okay? I, I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you want me to give it a squirt of this slime juice too? Yeah. Cool. There we go. And I want you to squeeze them with my cup so I can try it. <laughs> okay. Like can you pour some of this sugar into my lime juice for our dressing? We have two tablespoons of sugar. And then we have, very good. And then can you pour in my cinnamon? I have two, two teaspoons, excuse me. Can you grab my cinnamon? Put my cinnamon in there too? He's distracted by the sugar, that's okay. Plop that in there, buddy. Good job. All right, can you be my whiskey man? Can you whisk that dressing together? So in here, whisk that together. Give it a nice little whisk. So we have... And pour some down. Squeeze some that lemon juice in my cup so I, I like it. Okay, you can try it later. So we have pineapple, strawberries, apple, peaches, blueberries, kiwi. I actually made a special one for Gavin because he is not a fan of blueberries or mangoes. So Gavin has his own little one in this container here. So he's going to get to try that in a few minutes. Um, so let me finish whisking that, Gavin. So this dressing uh, serves two purposes. Not only does it give some flavor with the sugar and cinnamon, but it also, with the lime juice, prevents all of your fruit from browning. So that citrus juice 
uh, whether you want to use lemon, lime, anything like that, orange might even work, is going to prevent that fruit from all going brown. You can use any fruit in this fruit salsa. I would avoid bananas and watermelon. Bananas get kind of mushy, watermelon gets very watery, so I would avoid using those. So we are going to stir that. Gavin, do you want to put some of yours in your own bowl there? Do you think that you could scoop it into your own bowl? Do you want this? I'm you... having this. Okay, you can use your scooper, go ahead. Or the spoons there if you need some help. And then we have our finished cinnamon and sugar tortilla chips. We're going to use those to dip, um, especially right now where we're all very concerned with sanitation. I would recommend encouraging people not to use the chips and scooping right out of the container. I would have everybody get their own individual bowl or own individual plate and scooping onto their own plate, getting their own set of chips just to prevent the spread of bacteria, especially during this COVID-19 crisis. So. Um, that is what that awesome fruit salsa looks like. You clamping some with your clip, chip clip there. Hi. Do you want to get a chip there? Do you want to try a chip? No. no? There's a spoon. Do you want to give that a try while I give, give it a try as well? You can check out the recipe in the comments or in the file section um, for you to make this as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I know we're gonna enjoy it. Do you wanna try a chip, buddy? Has a little cinnamon and sugar. See that? Uh -oh. I think you'll like that. Uh-oh, we, we got some fruit stuck in there. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Stay Bye. safe and healthy. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video and hope you tune in for another video later. Do you wanna say goodbye? Uh -huh. I wasn't very enthusiastic. Say goodbye. Bye. What did you think of it? Did you like that lime juice? It's a little sour for me. A little sour? Yeah. You got some in your cup there, huh? Would you drink it again? I'm sorry. That's too sour. It's too sour. Okay.